Okay let's make this quick, hello today I am playing within. I hadn't heard from my brother in over three months, which wasn't unusual. Nick tends to disappear for months at a time, not returning my calls, and then he surfaces again as if nothing had happened. I've gotten used to it. I don't blame him, considering the childhood we had. I've read somewhere that siblings with shared traumatic pasts tend to grow apart faster when they're adults. Then. Last night at around 3 a.m., he left a voice message. I heard it when I woke up a few hours later. Maya, I hope you're okay. I... I know I haven't been in touch, but I just wanted to let you know. Uh... He may not hear from me again. For a while. I don't want you to worry, though. I'm in a spot of trouble, but... Nothing I can't handle. I'll figure it out. Whatever you do, don't come looking for me. I'll call you when things are right. I know I haven't said this enough, but I... I do love you. Always have. Goodbye, Maya. I must have called him dozens of times, but there was no answer, and then his phone was switched off. I took the next available flight out early next morning. Hold up, did she not listen to what his brother said? Don't come looking for me. This girl is dumb. I didn't sleep a wink on the plane. I kept thinking about what kind of trouble he might be in. As soon as I landed, I checked into a motel and then took a cab to the last address I had for him. In the pre-dawn light, the city seemed to grow more decrepit the further in I went, like a thing whose core was growing rotten. I don't know what kind of trouble he's in, but when we were growing up, after Ma died, when it was just the two of us, he'd come to me when he was in real deep and needed saving. And I would save him. I should get this over with quickly. I'll find him, make sure he's okay, then head back. I'm already missing a day at work. Let's see, he should be at apartment 405. Whose bright idea was it to leave this open? A child might fall in. Hello? Huh, where'd they go? There was someone just here. Well, this is it. I should just ring the doorbell, see if he answers. Although, if he's been drinking, I don't have much hope. I guess he's either not home, or he's sleeping off a drunken binge, which would not be entirely surprising. Maybe I should just try to open the door and let myself in. Gosh, what is that smell? Nick? Nick, are you here? How is he living like this? This is terrible. I remember that shirt. I think I'd given it to him for a birthday. <laughs> right, like this is gonna keep me out. Well, it should. Didn't know he kept this old picture of Ma. This was taken maybe a year before she died, before the cancer started turning her into skin and bones. When Ma got sick, he was eight and I was 15. We watched her waste away and die from cancer. We never knew our father. No kid should have to lose both parents so early. We moved in with Aunt Sheba after that. She mostly left us alone, so I had to pretty much raise him. Or at least I tried. I did the best I could, but hell, I was dealing with my own demons. 
I guess I made a pretty poor substitute for Ma. Well, there you go. Looks like he's fallen off the wagon again. Oh, Nick. I sometimes think, if he hadn't had that accident, if his best buddy Alex hadn't been killed, things might have turned out different for him. He was 16, driving home from a party. Alex in the passenger seat. Nick had no business being behind the wheel that night. He was drunk out of his mind. Alex was killed on the spot. Nick survived, but he could never forgive himself for Alex's death. With Ma gone, I was supposed to be the parent, rein him in, but I was a teenager myself, barely holding it together. I should have been tougher with him. I messed up there. I guess I neglected him when it mattered. That's on me. Nick, are you in there? Are you okay? Open this door. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. Hello? Nick, are you in there? Jeez. Hello? Hello? How did this door open? Random drawer junk. Nothing useful. A USB drive. Maybe it'll come in handy. Nothing useful here. I could probably use the USB drive I found in that drawer. Maybe this will do the trick. Let's see if it works. Am I cursed now? file wasn't there before. I'm sure of it. Pretty sure that was Nick's photo in there, but that makes no sense. I've got to get this game going again. Looks like it's crashed. I should restart the computer. Ah! Jeez, that scared me. <sighs> Just the lights. The electrics here are falling apart like the rest of the building.
You have to help me. Nick? I'm scared, Maya. It's awful here. Please, help me. That was Nick's voice, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get this PC going again. Maya. Hello? Is someone there? I'll restart it later. I need to check if there's someone in here with me. It's too dark in here. I should get the lights on. Oh, that's awful. How could the picture have changed like this? Nobody. But that's impossible. <laughs> Nick. But his face. What is happening to me? was that? <gasps> Nick! Wait! Nick! Nick! Is she not gonna talk about how this place looks different from before? Nick! Nick, stop! It's me! done to my brother. Some time later, I found myself back in the apartment. I couldn't remember how I got there. There was no sign of Nick, or the thing that had looked like him. 
and his computer would no longer turn on. I did the only thing I could. I filed a missing person report and flew home. It's been six months since then. I've tried every possible way to locate him, but there's been no word from him. I keep thinking about the thing I saw at the bottom of those stairs, the thing from inside the game. When it came at me, just before its awful malevolence could engulf me, something or someone stepped between us and shielded me. I think that's how I got away. I think, I think it was Nick who saved me.